I'm with Paul Ainley um, from Chatter. He's, um, he's all about talent, brand management and um, reputation management. And this morning we had an dis interesting discussion at True Leads about um, the employer brand and how social is an opportunity but also you know, a, a big problem area. So, um, Paul, what about that? What about the problems and, wh and what can we do around social that's going to make, you know, make things a lot better for employers? Yeah, I mean the clue's in the title and that social is social media. So you've got to allow people to have the conversation. And I suppose for some organisations that's a brave step to take to actually move online um, and allow people to talk about you um, in a forum um, where perhaps you don't have the, the editorial control that you might have had in the past. And I think that's a, a, mindset, a mind shift a mind shift has changed really in some mm -hmm. ways in that organisations have been used to in the past having a, um, a visual stamp, an identity, something that's fairly superficial when it comes to branding, um, running across brochureware, advertising, their website. Um, and I think now brand is much more about reputation um, and it's about the things that people will say about you based on their experience of interacting with you. Um, and it's where you've got to look at how you can create a fantastic experience. So whether that's for people who currently are employed by you, um, what it feels like to, 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 to work for you, whether they feel valued, whether they feel rewarded, whether they feel as though they're being developed, listened to, communicated and engaged with. Um, uh, and that will impact on how easy you find it to, to recruit the type of talent that will really help drive your business forward. So I think the input's got to be around how you behave, what you do, and how you, you, you are the, the change you want to be, um, and, and, and that manifests itself in the way that you are, are shown through the creative things that you produce. Now, we looked at some Facebook groups that, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. where disgruntled former employees hang out, and um, you know, clearly that's a real challenge. Definitely. If, if, you're, if you're trying to attract people, they're doing some Google searches on you, and they you, you then you then find Facebook groups where people are just slagging off yeah. the organisation. What can what can employers do about that? Well, there's the, you know the, the, there are lots of things that they can do. I think the um, it's you know it's the big plus and the big negative of social media, but I think it's the way that employers respond to that. And and, and a great example of that was actually. Um, Recently, um, ASDA um, had a lot of bad press about a colleague who had um, been filmed and been posted to YouTube, smashing up colleague um, areas and ripping people's clothes, messing about with stuff, just doing stuff they shouldn't really have been doing. And the way they responded was to actually send somebody with a handheld camera down into the store where it happened and film people um, watching that video and, 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 and their immediate reactions. And what it did was it just totally quelled any flames. So, so basically, people could see that wasn't that was an individual that was an isolated incident. It's not what happens all the time, um, and, and 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 that actually people were really shocked about it. Um, and I think that's the thing. It's about not being scared about it, but it's about knowing what's being said and then responding to it in a thoughtful and, and appropriate way. Um, and if there is um, if there is some some sort of um, a, a real issue to be to be overcome. You've got to work out how you're going to overcome it, and then tell the market what you've done about it, mm -hmm. um, and then accept that there are just going to be people who are a bit cynical and are going to moan and complain, and that's kind of what everybody has to put up with. Um, it's just the way it is. It's the way the world. <laughs> Paul, thanks very much. No problem. Thanks.